them down. Again, you can have your block, you know, up at the top of your mat, that's fine. Plant your feet on the ground. And let's just start by just shifting our legs from side to side. So just little gentle window wipers here. Okay, and then once you've done a few of those and feel good, and of course you're free to kind of stay, like if you feel tight on one side, you can pause and hold, and you can switch. And again, right, it was just nice real gentle twisting here to begin with. Um, just kind of getting any feedback from your body, right? Like, oh, the right side feels tight. Oh, my back on the left side is pulling, okay? Just observing your body in a non-judgmental way, just you know, kind of taking inventory of like what you're working with today. As you move through just little simple window wipers, again, these can be fast, they can be small, they can be slow. Okay. And once again, you've kind of played a little bit in this position and feel like you've had enough, you can start to straighten your legs out on the mat. And just come into like a nice little shavasana. Yeah, this is like the best way to start practice, right? <laughs> and again, we're we're coming into um, shavasana just again to kind of take inventory, observe the body, notice any feedback. If there's tension when you straighten the legs, how your shoulders feeling, your neck, yeah, ankles. I mean you know, just the whole body, okay? Just kind of check in. And once you've scanned your body, start to come into your breath. Start to just notice how you're breathing. Can you slow your breath down with no effort whatsoever? So let it, your breath be as natural as possible, but just starting to extend the inhale and extend the exhale. And if your legs are not already there, just make sure to separate them so they're about as wide as your mat. Okay. And let's go ahead and take this right leg, right ankle up and over the left. Okay. And then you can stretch your arms up over your head. This might be a big enough stretch for you here. If you want to go deeper, okay, we're just going to side bend and lean a little bit over to the left. But when you do this, it's really important that you know you're not rolling over to the left. That you're really side bending. So, I, you know, I'm I'm my mat is sticky when I'm on the ground like this. So I have to kind of curl up, lift my shoulder blades up off the mat, and then place them over to the left. And then my right shoulder blade, my left shoulder blade are on the mat, and then my arms, you know, reach back up over my head. And I feel this nice big stretch through the right side body. Okay, and then, you know, this is one of the poses, you know, that we've been doing uh, so much on the ground, right, in that side things pose. This is like our banana stretch, <laughs> um, really bending mountain pose. Okay, so again, we're just kind of coming into it in a nice gentle way and just getting feedback from our body, noticing where there's any tightness, openness, okay. and even notice your breath, like, is it feel good to breathe through that right lung? Does it feel spacious? And then stay for another inhale in. And then exhaling, slowly begin to release, coming back through neutral, and again, separating your legs about as wide as your mat, and then we'll go to the other side, okay? So left ankle, will just cross up and over the right ankle. Arms can extend up over your head. And again, this might be enough for you, or maybe you lean a little bit over to the right, or you pick your shoulder blades up off the mat, place them back down again, keeping that left shoulder blade on the mat. It's important to keep your shoulders um, 
grounded and neutral here, just like your hips, okay? So hips are on the ground, shoulders are on the ground, and we're just side bending over to the right. Feeling that whole left side over. Okay. Again, receiving any feedback. Does the side feel different? Noticing it maybe in different places, maybe your IT band is tight. Okay, good. Take a nice big deep inhale and in. exhale again, gently unwinding, coming right back into like our neutral shavasana. Okay, you kind of shake it out a little bit, then the knee bounce up a little bit. <laughs> Right. And then we'll slowly start to bend the knees, placing the feet on the ground, okay? And then just put your hands just like on your abdominals, okay? My thumbs are touching my, the bottom part of my ribs, and then like my pinky finger is, you know, touching the top part of my hips, okay? So I'm just being really aware of this uh, abdominal space here, okay? Gently pressing your low back into the mat, okay? So we start to like, you know, contract our abdominals ever so slightly. And again, the rib tips, hip tips, you know, slowly come together, okay? Then we'll just start our nice little marches, lifting your right leg in the tabletop, lower down, left leg in the tabletop. And again, we're just doing this just to receive feedback from our body and our low back. Using this to stabilize our pelvis, stabilize again our spine, our back. Okay. And we're going to work um, in this way so you can keep, you know, kind of continuing on marching. We're going to do this. Um, these exercises, we're going to progress a little bit. So know that you can always come back to this. I'm going to make them a little bit harder, our, um, our little abs here, okay? So again, this is always a great place. If you start to feel yourself like arch your back or like wobble a little bit, you know, reground yourself, press your low back into the mat, feel your core nice and solid. And then again, you know, these arches are super beneficial. Okay, it may not feel like a lot, but they're, this is like an excellent exercise to do. Okay, so we've done a plenty enough. And again, you can always be here when you are ready. Okay, both legs are gonna come up into tabletop. Okay, and again, he's still pressing that low back into the mat. And then we're just gonna drop maybe one foot down towards the mat and then the other. So you can see this makes it a little bit harder holding your legs up in the tabletop. Maybe the motion is smaller as you lower one leg than the other. You don't want to feel any strain. So again, if you need to, you can always place your feet back down and go back to your marches. Okay. So these are just our floating marches. Okay, a few more deep breaths. A few more on each side. Okay. And then we're going to progress a little bit more. Okay. Let's do one more on each side. All right. And left. Okay. We're going to keep the left leg bent. Right leg is going to straighten, and then we're going to lower the light right leg down, hovering it up off the mat, and then kicking it back up towards the sky. And again, if this is too much, go back to that bent knee. We're just going to do five on this right side. Good. Then we'll switch right knee bends, left leg straightens, and then we'll lift and lower. Good, just five times. Okay, so. I went a little too far, so I'm gonna make my legs not really as big. I'm gonna do a nice little low, <laughs> not all the way down to the mat quite yet. Okay, okay just not five. Awesome. And then go and hug your knees into your chest. Oh, give yourself a nice big hug. Gain from side to side. Whoo! All right. <laughs> Get those abs out of the way. <laughs> okay. Placing your feet back down onto the ground. Feet will be about hip distance apart. Okay, and then instead of having your heels really close underneath you to where your fingertips can touch your heels, you're going to walk your feet a little bit farther forward, okay, like uh, away from you. Okay, so there's a little bit more space, okay? We're going to lift the toes up off the mat. So we're grounding our heels down into the mat, okay? And we're just going to do some bridges here, okay? Nothing fancy. Um, you're just going to, you know, peel up, roll up, maybe don't go up as high to pop the ribs. We're going to kind of stay a little bit low and then we're just going to lower back down and you can just go at your own pace. We'll just lift and lower. 
hands can be down by your side or you can stay, you know, on your abdominals. Go ahead and just lift and lower. Okay. And again, we're not going to like full like bridge pose. Okay, we're doing like low, low bridges. Okay, so that we really start to activate the hamstrings and the glutes for when we do some standing or imbalancing. Okay. Let's just do a couple more. I'm sure you're starting to feel them, even though, you know, just going a little bit faster, up and down, up and down. Okay, okay great. From here, okay, we're going to separate the legs, uh, the feet and the legs, maybe to the outsides of the hips, maybe just a little bit wider. We're going to still keep our toes lifted, and we're going to do the exact same thing, okay? Lifting the hips up and lowering back down. Okay, lifting up and lowering back down. And again, if you really want to tune in and make this really active, okay, you're going to think about digging your heels down to the ground and then in towards your glutes. Okay, so we feel like this pulling action as we lift our hips up and down. And then you can really feel that in your hamstrings. Okay, again, you're not going to be able to see it like on the camera, but digging down and in towards your sit bones. Energy moving in and then moving the hips up and down. Okay, let's do about five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna go as wide as you can go. Okay, and it may look exactly the same. My feet are just gonna come off the edge of the mat. Again, toes are lifted. I'm digging my heels down and then in towards my glutes. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lift and lower in our really wide bridge here. Let's just do three more. Three, two, and one. Hold it up there. Breathe. Keep digging those heels in, dragging those heels towards your glutes. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Take a nice big deep inhale in. Exhale, slowly lower your spine and hips back down, relax your toes, and then little window wipers here again, back and forth. Okay, great. Just take your time. We're just going to roll over onto your side, slowly rise on nice and slow and actually i'm going to take my block and i'm going to sit on top of it okay so we're just going to come on up to seated you can sit on the block is totally totally optional okay <laughs> all right and let's just roll the shoulders back just a few times good and then let's roll them forward a few times Good. We'll finish with rolling them back. We'll interlace our hands together. And I'm just going to start to do just small little circles or figure eights in that direction with your wrist and your hands here. Good. Reversing the figure eight. I know it's really awkward. <laughs> okay, so you know, try to reverse and go in the opposite direction. Awesome. Okay, good. And then from here, go and just relax your hands, shake them out. Okay. Arms right out in front of your shoulders here. So arms just extend out. We're just going to, as fast as we can, we're just going to like open and close our hands. Nice big fist. Just open and close as fast as you can. Open and close. Squeezing in, squeezing in. Nice and fast. Keep breathing. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then just shake out your hands. If you need to re-roll your shoulders out, that's fine, okay? Arms again directly out in front of you, okay? And then we're just gonna do like some like peeling here, okay? So you're gonna bend um, your fingers like in half, okay? And you're gonna make a fist and then point your knuckles down. And again, arms are just out in front of you, okay? And then we're just gonna reverse it. So we're gonna bend the wrists, knuckles and then fingers straight out. Just bend your fingers 
make this knuckles point down. And then again, back up and release. Bend, fist, knuckles down. Okay, we'll just keep going through that. Okay, this is intense. <laughs> I did not know I needed all of these exercises. And so I love the request. <laughs> it's a nice reminder. Good. Some body parts we don't want to leave out. Okay. okay. Let's just do a couple more of these. And again, if you need to take breaks, take breaks. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Good. And we're going to shake your hands out again. Roll your shoulders back. Okay. Go. We're going to take our right arm and we're just going to bend it and have our, our elbow right by our ribs. Okay. And just take your left hand. So, you know, you're kind of just like holding your forearm and your wrist. And we're just going to make um, a fist. Okay. My thumb, um, my thumb side is like, you know, facing up. Okay. I'm just going to move the wrist just up and down. So, again, we're really just isolating the wrist here. Okay. And then we're going to move it from right to the left. Okay. Just nice and slow. Maybe just like three times. Okay. All together. And then let's do some circles here. Let's three circles in one direction. Good. And again, you know, trying your best just to isolate the wrists. Good. And then after your third one, you're going to turn your palm up, open your hand. Okay. And then same thing with the palm facing up. Okay. We're going to circle the wrist in one direction. Okay. It's so making your hand as flat as it can be. Good, and then we'll reverse. Awesome, good. And I'm going to shake that out. Okay, and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, so left arm bends, elbow, arm right by your ribs, make a fist. You can hold your forearm with your right hand, and then we'll just move up and down with just the wrist. Again, just about three times. Good. And then from right to left, you have to go slow. And three circles in one direction, and then three circles in the opposite direction. Okay. This side is all weird. Okay, palm faces up, hand is open. Okay. And then okay, we'll do a nice again three circles in one direction. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. Go ahead and again, just shake it out. And then last thing, just a little self-massage, okay, with the right arm, making me relax. You're just gonna take this left hand. And again, just make sure your arm is nice and relaxed. You're gonna take your left hand, just give yourself a little massage through the forearm. I'm not gonna spend too much time here, but you know, this is always such a great <laughs> tool, right? Like our ourselves, right? <laughs> So you can, you know, always massage your forearms when you have a chance and downtime. Just getting in there a little bit. Seeing again where there's any tension. I love that we're doing this because we're going to also do some, um, not a ton of stuff in tabletop. We're going to be on our wrists um, here uh, next. So this is really great that we can open up these pathways so we feel really strong. Okay, let's go and switch to the other side. And again, left arm nice and relaxed, and you're using that right hand to help massage the forearm. Okay. I'm just noticing the difference between the sides. But yeah, it's really nice for us to open up the pathways, obviously, from being on our computers and our cell phones um, all day. Um, and then when we move into tabletop, it we feel nice and strong through our arms and our chest um, openers. Okay. Crazy. My right forearm was super tight and tense, but my left wrist was all poppy and crackly. <laughs> so not what I was expecting. I thought my left side was going to be even more tense. Okay, great. And then shaking out the wrist again, the hands. Okay, we're going to bring uh, the right arm out into cactus arm. Okay, and then we're just going to energetically find this scapula, the back, opening up the chest here. Okay, so your back muscles are opening up the chest out nice and wide. Elbow moves back as best as you can. And we're going to hold here, breathe here. Okay, so nice active chest stretch. Good. And then we're just going to move into 
different angles again maybe coming into like a little w W, so you can kind of move your arm down a little bit, keep moving that elbow back to open up your chest. Maybe coming back through cactus, maybe lifting the elbow up a little bit higher. And again, really energetically pressing your arm back. And again, you're welcome to play with the ankles. And you're also, if you wanted to stay right in cactus arm, that's fine, okay? Just Kind of give you some options to where you're feeling tight to kind of play with the different directions of your shoulder. And then we'll go ahead and just switch to the other side. Left arm out. Cactus arm. You're really think about your back muscle opening you up. Okay. It's like scapula, shoulder blade is really activating to open the chest out nice and wide. Go ahead, just breathe. Good. And then when you're ready, if you want to play with those angles, you can. Again, just always keep reactivating the back. Let's open up the chest. And then maybe up when you're ready. Don't rush. Take your time. If you need to take breaks, take breaks. Awesome. And then slowly just release that left arm down. Okay. And then let's go ahead and interlace our hands behind our back. Okay. And I'm just going to move to the side here. So when we interlace our hands behind our back, keep your thumbs connected to your tailbone. Okay. Or your low back. Okay. Roll the shoulders back, lift up through the chest, and see if you can lift your chin up. Okay. So that's level with the floor. Gazing forward as best as you can. Staying here, just breathing. Good. You can stay here, or maybe the arms begin to slowly stretch away from the hips. Just maybe. You don't have to straighten or anything. You can keep them slightly bent. Okay. And then we're going to return back to the tailbone. Okay. And then we're going to switch the interlace of your hands. So it'll be the opposite way. Okay, okay, and we're just going to do the same thing all over again, okay? Roll the shoulders back. Good. Lifting and pressing the elbows back just a little bit, but really it's more about the chest and the shoulders, and then when you're ready, maybe the arms begin to straighten or just press gently away from your low back. Good. We're turning the thumbs back to your tailbone and then gently releasing your arms down. Good. And then we'll just move that lock out of the way and we'll make our way into a tabletop. Okay. So again, so a little, some more active stretching. <laughs> okay. So let's do um, a nice round of cat and cow here. Fingers are spread out nice and wide. Take your time. There is no rush. Okay, good. Okay, and then from here, okay, one last little wrist thing I'm gonna throw in, okay? From um, your tabletop, you can start to fan your fingers out, okay? Just a little bit. So maybe your fingertips, you know, fan out. And we're gonna do a round of cat and cow here, okay? Or if you are up for it, you can point your fingertips back, okay? And you can just, you know, be mindful if you're, you know, kind of moving a little bit in this more extreme position here, and then we'll do a round of cat and cow like this with your fingers just in a different position, your wrist in a different position. Okay. You know that your cat and cow is going to feel different, may not be as big. You may even add a kind of shifting forward and backwards a little bit to get a nice little wrist stretch. And again, don't overdo it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's just take our time. We're just going to release our hands just back to neutral tabletop. If you need to take some breaks, I'm going to roll my wrist out each side just a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Back in the tabletop. All right. Nice neutral tabletop. Right leg reaches back behind us. Okay. Scoop your abdominals up and in. Okay. Feel yourself press away from the floor. From here, maybe the right leg floats. Okay. 
And then maybe the left arm wraps around the abdominals. Okay, so we're balancing on this right hand and then really press away from the floor and then use those hamstring muscles to help lift the right leg up a little bit higher. Good, breathe here. Nice, slow, deep breath. You can always lift up onto your fingertips. Again, if your wrists are feeling tired from all of that you know, workout we just did with them. Okay, inhale in. Exhaling, slowly release your arms, your foot. Good. And then we'll roll, uh, switch to the other side. Left leg reaches back. Press the floor away from you. Abdominal scoop up and in. Left leg floats. Maybe right hand wraps around the abdominals. Good. And keep pressing out of that left hand in the left shoulder so you feel really strong. Hamstrings lifting the left leg up towards the sky. Breathe. We're going to take a nice big deep inhale in, exhaling slowly, lowering everything down. Left arm reaches up towards the sky, threading the needle, left arm under the right, dropping down onto the left shoulder. And again, just double check those hips, square the hips to the left, right hand can stay under the shoulder. You can reach it up towards the top of your mat up towards the sky, or if your shoulders are feeling a little more open, you can bring your hand on your low back, or you can wrap around to grab the left inner thigh. Okay. Yeah, hopefully your chest kind of feels a little more free, <laughs> but if not, it takes time, right? Like we all have like different injuries, different mobility. Okay. So again, just really choose what feels good for you right now in this moment, right? We took all that time for that inventory check, our body check. Okay, to kind of see what we're working with today. So again, really honor that. Don't push beyond what uh, you need, okay? Yeah, listen, to, listen to what you need. <laughs> okay, right hand back under the shoulder to help you uh, stabilize and unwind. Left arm will reach back up towards the sky and then lowering the left hand back down. Switching sides, right arm reaches up. Threading the needle, right arm under the left. Very good. And again, squaring the hips and then choosing whatever arm position you'd like to take. Maybe a combo of all of them, maybe just one. Re-crowning this left hand back under your shoulder, stabilize the round, re-reach this right arm up towards the sky, and then exhaling hands lower back down. Good, a nice gentle round of cat and cow again, just noticing what's changing, what's staying the same. Okay. And one last thing on our hands and knees here. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I like do right and left, right and left. Okay. Um, we just did left arm or right arm under. Okay. So <laughs> let's go ahead and reach the left leg back. Okay. Yes. Left leg reaches back. Okay. Right hand. Um, hold on, you guys. <laughs> I don't know my right from my left, right? Okay. So left leg back. Right arm, okay, we're gonna ground through the left hand. Right arm's gonna reach um, out to the right, okay? Or up towards the sky, so we're twisting away from the straight leg, okay? I know. Left leg back, right arm up towards the sky, okay? If you can, right hand's just gonna join your low back, okay? And then just notice if like your hips are dipping, like if they're rolling under to the left. So lift the left hip up so your hips stay square and stable and strong. And if you're ready, maybe the right arm re extends back up towards the sky. Okay. You can look up and down a few times if that feels good on your neck. And if you really want to challenge yourself, maybe the back leg floats, the left leg floats. Okay. So our twisting table, two legged table. Let's stay for another inhale in, exhaling, lowering everything back down, nice and slow. Okay, and then we'll switch sides, right leg back, right toes under, heel up, 
Left arm can reach out to the left. Okay. Or if you can, maybe it points up towards the sky in any degree. Hand can lower down onto your low back. So you check out your hips, square the hips. So right hip lifts up. Good. If you're ready, maybe right leg floats. Maybe you look up and down towards your right hand, towards your left hand. Just moving back and forth for balancing and twisting. Good. Inhale in, exhale gently release. And then let's go ahead and make our way into child's pose, okay? I'm gonna take my block and place it under my forehead. I'm gonna let my arms bend so I can roll out my wrists a little bit here, give my hands a little bit of a break. Okay, awesome. Same for just a few more deep breaths. Good. Slowing everything down. And we're just going to piece everything together. Okay, so from here, Slowly start to walk your hands underneath you. Shift forward tabletop, okay? And something a little bit different. We're gonna tuck our toes under, okay? If you can use your block for this, that is fine, okay? But we're gonna shift our um, hips with our heels to lift our knees up, okay? If you need to widen your stance, that's fine. And if you wanna do this a few times, that's okay also. Or maybe, you know, today it's not working for you, so you're just going to step your feet forward. So pretty much we're just going to come into a forward fold. We're just going to come through it to the uh, here, rolling over. Okay, so meeting at the back of the mat, <laughs> standing forward fold. You know, feel free to move around here. Again, if you need to use your block because hamstrings are feeling tight, go for it. Okay, good. From here, release the arms. If you haven't already, we're going to bend the knees to slowly roll up. Nice and slow. Let your head be the last thing that comes up. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, we're going to start all over again. Rolling down from the crown of our head and rolling all the way down. Start to bend your knees. Let your head be heavy, your arms be heavy. As you roll all the way back down to your forward fold. And again, any bending, straightening, balancing, anything that feels good here. Great. Okay. And then we're going to slowly walk on out into downward facing dog. So I'm going to keep my knees bent. I'm going to do like a little bear crawl as I walk my hands out to downward facing dog, holding it in downward dog for three deep breaths. And again, remember your knees can be bent. If you want to pedal your feet out for the three breaths, go for it. Okay, so inhaling in for one, exhaling out, inhaling in for two, and exhaling out, inhaling in for three, Exhaling out, looking forward, bending the knees, walking your feet towards the top of your mat this time. So coming all the way back to your forward fold at the top of your mat. Awesome. And then take your time. We're going to slowly roll back up again, nice and slow. Coming all the way up to standing. Okay, good. For our little balancing play today. Okay, we're going to ground through um, our left foot. Okay. And right knee is just going to, and again, it can be whatever height. Okay, we're just going to bring the right knee up towards our chest. Okay, we're going to turn it out and we're going to circle it back around. And we're just going to do that three times. Maybe your toe has to touch down. We're just going to make circles here. Yeah, let's do about three times in one direction. And then we'll reverse the direction. So knee will move back, it'll open up to the side. 
Nice. Two. Good again. Arms can be wherever you need them. Okay. <laughs> Three. Awesome. And then we'll lower back down and then we'll switch sides. Grounding for your right foot. Again, go nice and slow. There's no rush. Left knee will start to lift up. And again, whatever height. And then we'll gently rotate the knee out. Like we're going to come into tree pose. Okay. But then we're going to circle back around. I'm just going to make some circles with our knee. And our knee. Three times in one direction. Awesome. And then three times in the other direction. One more. You got this. Awesome. And then lowering your feet back down towards the earth, towards the ground. Awesome. Inhaling, arms reach up over your head. Exhaling, folding forward, nice gentle forward fold. Okay, and then let's step our right leg back behind us. And again, you're welcome to use your block under your right hand. Okay, so right hand is going to move under the right shoulder so you have your block ready to go. Okay, we're going to come up into high lunge. Arms will reach up over your head when you're ready. Take a nice big deep inhale in. Soften the shoulders down. Exhale out. Inhaling in. Good, and exhaling out. Good, grounding through that left foot. Okay, high twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Just twisting here, breathe here. One more big deep inhale. Exhaling, right hand is gonna lower down onto your block. And then here we are in our high twisted lunge. Okay. Just breathe. Just imagining how we were in tabletop, right? Our hips are nice and square, so you can bring your hand on your low back. Maybe you gotta lift that right hip up a little bit higher. Maybe bend a little bit deeper in that left knee. Good, maybe your arms not totally up towards the sky, maybe it's towards the wall, and that's fine, okay? Just breathe wherever you're at. Good, exhaling, release your hands down. We're going to step forward. Forward fold. Okay, as many steps as you need to, just stepping up to the top of your mat. And again, you know, using my block is just like a little guide um, to help me forward and backwards. Okay. And then we're going to switch straight to the second side. Okay. So from here, left leg's going to step back for your high lunge. I'm setting my block under my left shoulder. I'm going to rise up, coming up into high lunge on the right side. Arms reach up over your head. Or maybe one hand stays down, that's fine too, okay? Just test out where you're at. Just breathe, drop the shoulders down, shift your gaze out, and again, chin's level with the floor. Good. Good, nice big high twist, okay? Left arm forward, right arm semi-back, <laughs> okay? Good, breathe here. One more breath, inhaling in, and then left hand lowers down onto your block for your nice big high twist in the lunge, good. And then take that time to self adjust, lifting the left hip up, bending the right knee a little bit more, rolling the right shoulder up towards the sky. And again, maybe right arms out towards the wall. Maybe it creeps up just a little bit. Maybe eventually up towards the sky, but it's not necessary. Good, just breathe. Nice big deep inhale in. Exhaling hands lower back down. Okay, we're gonna step back this time, downward facing dog. Yes, exhale out through the mouth a few times. Pedal your feet out. Just notice how you're feeling. Good, inhaling in, exhaling, lowering down, take a little time. And then we're gonna take our block into our right hand, okay? And again, if you um, are not using a block today, 
guess what? Your fingertips are a great tool to use. You can lift up onto your fingertips here, or again, you can um, not use the block as well, okay? So I'm actually gonna, um, you can use whatever level feels good for you. I'm gonna do the, uh, the medium height, okay? So the block is under my right hand. I'm still in tabletop. And we're gonna practice stepping our right foot forward, okay? It's gonna step to the outside of the block, okay? And just kind of see like, where your leg goes, okay? So we're gonna lift the right leg up and then maybe when you step it forward, it's only in line with your hip, it's fine, okay? So I just want you to kind of notice how this feels. You can do it about three or five times. Eventually, you know, you wanna see if you can kind of get your foot close to your hand as you step your right foot to the outside of your right wrist, okay? And the whole thing with the block under the hand is that we find some abdominal lift, right? So we want to press away from the floor. We want to scoop our abdominals up and in and then slowly set this foot forward and back. Okay. Yeah. And just notice where your range is. Okay. It may be really different from mine, and that is fine. Okay. You can try lowering the levels down or just try it with your bare hands. That's fine also. Okay. You know, did maybe a little more than I wanted to on the side. We'll switch to the other side. Okay, get about three to five. Okay, on the sides here. Okay, so we're just stepping, transitioning, right? So abdominals up and in, pressing the floor away. Left foot steps up, whatever degree. Okay, I'm going to try to, um, you know, show different <laughs> angles here. Okay, because it's hard. This is really hard. Okay, it takes a long time to be able to step up with control, a lot of abdominal strength and also structure too, right? I have like really long arms <laughs> and I got like a crazy wingspan. So some of this comes natural to some people and some people it's hard, okay? Short Achilles, all these different things, okay? Once you've done that a few times, <laughs> you can thank yourself for the second round of abdominals. Nice strong ab muscles that we just did. Okay. And then um, just, you know, sit back for a moment. You can relax your wrists if you want to roll them around a little bit. Okay. And we're just going to come into pigeon pose. Okay. However, you want to come into pigeon um, from downward dog or tabletop. Okay. So I'm going to bring my right knee towards my right wrist. Good. Bumping my hips back. Good. Take your time getting there and we'll slowly lower down. Again, block can be under your forehead or under your chest or under your hip, okay? Yes, lots of options for the props today. <laughs> and, you know, and remember, you know, using a block or a strap, um, you know, they're really great tools and then you can receive a lot of feedback when you use them. Even if you're like, I don't need it, when you use them, it really shows you different ways um, of approaching your practice. So it's always nice to, to try it uh, when you can. So just settling in to your pigeon, letting go of unnecessary tension, okay? So I want you to really think about releasing the traps, the neck, any tension in your face. Taking that time to so again elongate the inhale so that it's just as long as your exhale. Slowing down. It is the hardest thing to do. Being mindful, slowing down, not being in a rush or a hurry. Even my dental hygienist told me I need to practice yoga while I'm brushing my teeth for the heat. <laughs> Something that I take for granted, just rushing around, brushing my teeth all fast. And, you know, it's like taking the time, those two minutes to really care <laughs> right? um, for yourself. It's, it's just two minutes. It's not a big deal, right? Same, and same with our yoga practice. <laughs> our yoga hour for ourselves. <laughs> Taking the time to slow down. Mm -hmm. 
So really beautiful, everyone. Start to gather yourself. Begin to walk your hands back under your shoulders. And again, your yogi's choice, however you want to come out of pigeon pose, downward dog, tabletop, cat and cow, child's pose. Okay, so many more options if you want to come to forward fold, whatever you want to do. <laughs> go to the second side, okay? Left knee towards your left wrist. You're going to make some space. So you're going to move your left heel towards the right just a little bit. Not, nothing too crazy. I still have my heel pretty close to my pelvis. So my check mark's like just a little tiny one, okay? It's not this big check mark, okay? And then bumping those, uh, bumping that right leg back, making space for your hips. And again, use your block under your hip, under your forehead, under your chest, whatever level. Remember, there's three different levels to your block, so use the different levels okay, to help assist you in your pigeon pose. And just take a moment to let this left side get all of its glory, let it catch up <laughs> with the right side. Don't rush it, allow it to release slowly, taking its time. And you may have to, you know, start all over again, right? Like releasing any tension in your head and shoulders, releasing tension in your forehead and your jaw, deepening your breath. Okay, just a few final moments here, finding softness, finding release. Take a nice big deep inhale in and exhale out. And slowly start to walk your hands back underneath you. And we're gonna make our way onto our backs, okay? So again, Yogi's Choice how to come out of pigeon pose, but we're just going to make our way to our back. And we're gonna move through one more little hamstring. Um, or I guess we haven't really done a ton of hamstrings, so I want to just do this hamstring sequence really quick. I think it's going to just be some like active um, stretching, okay? Okay, so uh, feet are grounded, knees are pointed up towards the sky. And um, we, we won't use a strap for this. We'll use our arms and our hands as a strap, okay? So we're going to reach the right leg up towards the sky and you can interlace your hands behind the hamstring, okay? And again, don't worry too much about um, like if your leg's really close to your chest, okay, we're just using this as just like a guide so our leg doesn't get too tired, okay? So we're going to flex um, through our foot and we're going to bend our right knee, okay? So we're going to bend and straighten. And when we straighten our leg, we're going to point our toes, okay? So bend and straighten. Got three and point, four, five. Good, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good. From here, you're gonna bend your knee again, okay? We're gonna move it just a pinch, a little bit to the left. Nothing crazy, your right hip's still on the ground. Okay, we're just gonna change the angle just a little bit. And then this, you don't have to use your hands. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bend and straighten, pointing the foot. Okay, 
in this angle 10 times, okay? Two and three, four, five, six, seven, bend and straighten, two more, bend and straighten, flex and point, good. And then bring that right leg back up towards the sky and just do really a little shake, a little bouncy bounce, okay? Yeah, and then we'll um, move to the other side, okay? So right foot on the ground, left leg up towards the sky. And again, you can interlace your hands around your hamstring, bending the left knee, flexing the left foot, and then straightening the leg, pointing the toes, okay? And again, we're just gonna do this 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, left knee bends. And again, just slight little shift, just moving the angle over a little bit, crossing over to the right side. And again, bending, flexing through the foot and then pointing and straightening. Good. And then again, no hands. Two, three, four, whoo. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my gosh, left leg back up towards the sky, and then you can give it a nice little shake out. Woo, I don't know about you, but that was like a major calf angle workout for me. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hug your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Okay, and then one last little twist, okay. Sorry, I have my block all the way uh, like off the mat. So again, totally optional if you want to use a block or a pillow. Knees are going to be into our chest, and then we're just going to let them fall over to the right. And then you can use the block between your legs, between your knees, okay? And then left arm is going to reach all the way out to the left. Nice big open T. And again, it's more important that your left shoulder blade's on the ground than your knees. So if your knees have to separate a little bit more, if your left knee has to point up, that is fine. Just make it all about the chest opening. Give it inner twist. Good. Take your time. We're going to slowly gather our knees back to the center. Readjust if you need to. <laughs> knees again into the chest. Let your knees fall over to the left. And again, block or pillow in between the knees here. Right arm will reach all the way out to the right. Nice big cross or T position. And again, really focusing on getting the right shoulder blade down on the mat. You know, the knees will, you know, they'll follow eventually or maybe not. Okay. I've had to do like three twists to get into this deep of a twist. <laughs> okay. So it takes some time. Okay. Okay, take your time, slowly releasing, coming back to the center, okay, and for our Shavasana, um, again, absolutely optional, you can come in just a regular Shavasana, or we come into um, the chest opener with the block, okay, it's a supported fish posture, so we're going to take our block, again, you can be done with the pillow or a blanket, um, block is going to be on the lowest level, okay, Shoulder blades are going to go on top of the block. Okay. And you can start with your knees bent. You'll lower down nice and slow. It might take you a moment to kind of find the right place for this. And then when you rest your head back or down on the mat, okay, 
You want to make sure it's not hanging or straining at all. So you can always slide something else underneath here. But, you know, our blocks are, you know, somewhat low. Um, so hopefully you can touch your head without any constraint. Okay. And then you can use like sweatshirts, clothes, <laughs> okay, a book under your head if you feel any constriction at all. Okay. I'm actually, you know, just move directions here because I'm hitting the plants over on the side. Okay. Okay, and then option to keep the knees bent or you can straighten them out. And again, just kind of noticing how you feel. Okay. And then before we get like super relaxed, if it feels okay, you're going to bring your arms up over your head. And again, arms can be, um, they don't have to be straight. They can actually be bent. Like you're making like an O over your head. And then you can move your arms like into like a W or cactus coming maybe down by your hips and circle back up again. So I'm really just doing like, like a little O, cactus, W, kind of straighten and then back like W, cactus, and then O for my head. So you can move through that just a few times. Again, it can be really small. Okay, maybe you find like an angle where you're like, oh yeah, I wanna stay there, stay there. Okay, listen to your body, listen to what feels good. And this is just our final resting moment. Okay, so let's breathe. You're welcome to stay here. I'm just going to lead us just into a neutral position. So bend your knees, plant your feet on the ground. Gently roll over onto one side. Move the block or pillow out of the way. And gently just make your way back onto your back, extending your legs out nice and long. Take a moment, receive any feedback from your body. Take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. Big exhale out through your mouth. And gently start to shift your head from side to side. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretching your arms over your head when you're ready. And gathering your knees into your chest. Making your way onto your side. Slowly coming on up to a seated position. Again, sitting on your pillow or block, <laughs> lifting those hips out. Rolling the shoulders back just a few times. Closing the eyes or keeping your gaze down towards the ground. See if you can sit up a little bit taller. that moment of stillness, of mindfulness, of peace in your body. 
thanking yourself for showing up for this time for yourself, caring for your mind, your body, your spirit. Bringing your palms together at your heart center. Noticing what's changed, what stayed the same. Inhale in, and exhale out. So let's just begin to smile in honor of your practice. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much.